Hello aspirants, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will discuss an essence and strategy for cracking the UPSC Combined Geoscientist Examination. We will delve into the art of analyzing previous year question papers in a step-by-step -step manner to identify trends and gain valuable insights. So, let's get started. Before we begin, if you have heard of topus interviews or in our classes and even in my previous videos, the importance of previous year questions are emphasized more often, isn't it? So, let's understand why analyzing previous year question paper is crucial with relevant analysis and certain practical steps. Overall, it helps us to uh, identify recurring patterns in the exam, understand the exam structure and focus on the most relevant topics. And by doing so, we can optimize our preparation and increase our chances of su success. For example, suppose you analyze the previous year question papers and you find out that questions on the origin and in, uh, interior of the earth from the physical geology portion consistently appears in the exam. <clears throat> this indicates that it is an important topic that you should focus more on during the exam preparation, right? And understanding this pattern will also allow you to allocate more time and resource to mastering this particular subject so that you don't make any mistake in the actual exam, isn't it? Now that you have understood why PYQs are so important, let's discuss how to extract valuable information and insights from them in a step-by-step -step manner. The first step is to uh, collect the previous year question papers of the UPSC Combined Geoscientist Examination, right? You can find them on the official UPSC website or through other reliable sources like Geology Concepts website. Make sure you have question papers from the last 5 to 10 years. Why? Because to identify a pattern of a particular subject, you need to have more data points, which in this case is more questions from each topic mentioned in the syllabus. To download the PYQs, visit the official uh, UPSC website and navigate to the examination section where you will find previous question paper stack. You can download the PDFs or access online question papers from different years uh, from there, that, is that website uh, alone. As I said, uh, said earlier, ensure that you gather question papers from a sufficient number of for a uh, sufficient number of years to obtain a comprehensive understanding of the exam trend. Right. Now, once you have the, the question papers, categorize them based on the subjects and topics mentioned under the syllabus. This step will allow you to identify trends within specific areas and determine their relative importance in the examination. Now, there are certain key areas that you need to incorporate while doing the analysis. Start by analyzing the frequency of topics. I emphasize again, frequency of topics in the question papers. Look for patterns and observe which su subject or topics appear consistently over the years. This will give you a clarity and clear indication of the topics that hold significant weightage in the exam. For example, after analyzing the question papers, you find that the topic measurement of strain in deformed rocks from the structural geology section uh, appears in almost every year uh, in some form or another, right? And this suggests that it is a high value topic that is likely to be tested again in the upcoming exam. Knowing this, you can allocate suitable time to form a strong uh, grip over this subject, isn't it? Next is, while examining the question pattern, identify whether the exam focuses more on theoretical concepts or the practical applications. This analysis will help you tailor your preparation strategy accordingly, right? For example, while analyzing the question papers, you notice that exam tends to include more application-based questions in the mineralogy section compared to other subjects in the paper too, which is evident in this year main as well. Uh, this indicates that having a strong understanding of practical application within this topic is essential, right? And thus, you can adjust your preparation to focus more on the conceptual understanding of mineralogy and uh, you can include real-world examples when necessary, right? And then next step is to evaluate the difficulty level of questions in different subjects, right? Next step, to evaluate the difficulty level again. Uh, to determine if certain subjects have consistently challenging questions or if the difficulty level varies each year is very important. 
this insight will enable you to allocate your time and resource uh, more effectively during the preparation of your uh, examination, right? And by analyzing the question papers, you observe that uh, the uh, section paleontology often contains tricky and conceptually challenging questions, right? And understanding this pattern, uh, you can allocate more time to study this subject and seek additional uh, resources or guidance to tackle this complexity um, in an effective manner, right? Now that you have analyzed the question papers, it's time to prepare a topic-wise analysis. What you need to do is, you need to create a spreadsheet or a document where you can record the frequency, difficulty level and question pattern of each topic. This analysis will help you prioritize your study plan and focus on areas that have higher chances of being asked in the upcoming examination. You need to create a spreadsheet with columns for topics, frequency of appearance, difficulty level and question pattern. And you need to populate the rows with relevant information for each topic based on your analysis. This analysis will serve as a roadmap for your preparation, guiding you to allocate time and resources efficiently based on the importance and difficulty of each topic. You can do this analysis for major sections and their subsections as well as it is mentioned in the syllabus, right? As you can see here, I have done this analysis for the physical geology portion. From this analysis, it is evident that UPSC is not concerned with topics like solar system or meteorites much. Rather, its focus is more on the conceptual and contemporary topics like interior and age of the earth and volcanoes and earthquakes. And almost every year, there are questions from these two, two topics, right? And you must have heard of this 80-20 rule, which means 80% of the questions will come from 20% of the syllabus. This is how you can identify those 20% of most important areas. This will significantly reduce the pressure and burden to complete the whole syllabus as well, isn't it? And I hope that's clear to all of you. Now that you have uh, your topic-wise analysis, you shall develop a comprehensive study plan. You must allocate more time to topics with higher frequency and higher difficulty levels, right? And additionally, identify any gaps in your knowledge and work on strengthening those areas. For example, based on your analysis, you determine that sedimentology is a high frequency and a moderately challenging topic. You allocate more study time to this topic, ensuring you cover all its subtopics comprehensively. Simultaneously, you identify gaps in your understanding of engineering geology as well. You need to focus on bridging those gaps through targeted study and uh, comprehensive study materials and practicing more mocks. Now, how do you find those knowledge gaps? Right. The question is, how do you find those knowledge gaps? You can do that by attempting regular mock tests. This will help you simulate the uh, exam environment and familiarize yourself with the question patterns along with identification of areas where you lack a clear conceptual understanding, isn't it? For example, set aside a dedicated time to take mock tests. Mimic the actual exam conditions by setting a timer and answering the question within the specified time limit. After each mock test, what you need to do is you need to analyze your performance, identify which areas you need to improve upon and revise them accordingly, right? And this iterative process will enhance your exam taking skills and reinforce uh, your understanding of key concepts. Also, don't forget to re uh, revise regularly on uh, to reinforce your understanding of these important topics, right? And if you are serious about uh, cracking the combined geoscientist examination 2024, you should definitely consider joining the prelims and men's test series of geology concepts, which are specifically designed keeping the past year trends in mind with extensive analysis of the PYQs. These test series are actually the comprehensive package of whatever we have discussed till now. In, ad in addition to that, you will be guided by our expert team of mentors who will help you strategize each and every stage of this examination and in setting clear targets, right? So, in conclusion, Analyzing previous year question paper is a valuable strategy for cracking the UPSC combined, combined geoscientist exam. It helps you to identify trends, understand the exam structure, and focus your preparation on the most relevant topics. Remember to use your analysis to create a targeted study plan and practice them regularly. With consistent effort and strategic preparation, success in the UPSC combined geoscientist examination is within your reach. Right? So, that's all for today guys. If you found this information helpful, 
give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such insightful videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy studying and best of luck for your examination. Thank you for watching.